doing tonight? <laughs> well, 206 days in to the van slash homeless life. Today was an okay day, I guess. I was able to get my medicine, so that's good. I got it. Got shaved. Cleaned up a little bit today. Thanks to my youngest son's mom and her husband. Thor's laying down behind me. Sleeping. He's getting aggravated. I keep making him move around a little bit, but I gotta rearrange a little a few things in here tonight, so it'll be alright. So today, you know, my wife come by. I got to see my baby girl and her. Uh, changed the brakes on the car for her. So that was fun. That was fun. That was good. And now she can stop good and be safe with her and baby girl. So I'm happy about that. It's been a long day, though. We're going on a pretty good walk tomorrow. I got a doctor appointment with my medicine doctor, so that's cool. I don't mind the walk. It's good exercise, you know. Keeps me going. Keeps me young and beautiful and good looking, as y'all see. I'm just kidding, y'all. Sometimes, you know, I gotta tell jokes to myself to lighten the mood up. All that good stuff. Um, I would read y'all something out of the book, but it's a little dark. It makes it harder to read. Tomorrow's video, I'll try to do it a little bit sooner. That way I got some light, and uh, I'll read y'all something. Y'all seem to like that one video I did when I was reading from it, so I'm going to do that one again. Um... Uh, wasn't able to eat today, but that's cool. Happens like that sometimes. But yesterday at church, oh man, I had some good spaghetti. That was awesome. And then the bread to go with it, mm, man. Those ladies really know how to cook. And uh, whoever made that cake, that was really good too. All good and moist. Man. It's almost like having home cooking again. So, I'm not going to get into too much to it on here, but my younger days, when I was like a teenager, early 20s, like early, like 20, 21, you know, from uh, 16 to 21, I'd say, I've, I was doing some bad stuff, y'all. Real bad stuff. I hurt some people. Hurt some families. But. A few months back. When I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. As my Lord and Savior. I managed to. Run into most. Well all the families actually. Only a small handful. But. All but one family have forgiven me. For what I've done. And as I said. I don't want to go into all that. Just praise God, they forgave me. And hopefully that one family will too. A little bit more time. I know it's done been a long time, but I hurt them pretty bad. But lighter subject. Got over to Leland's mom's house and her husband's house today to get my shower and shave and everything. Took Thor with me. So, get in there, and one of the first things the dog does is pee in her floor. That was kind of funny to me. So, I'm sure Liz didn't find it too humorous, <laughs> but I did. Um, let's see, I hope y'all are doing well out there. Y'all, you know, it's kind of chilly tonight, so y'all make sure you stay inside, stay warm. Get you a good meal if you already haven't yet. <laughs> um, still looking for my GoPro mounts. I will be taking you on those adventures of some dumpster diving that I've been doing. Just be patient because then I gotta find my GoPro and a battery and get it charged. So 
I don't exactly remember where I put it when I packed my truck up, but I know I got it somewhere. It's just, today wasn't that rough of a day, honestly, I must say. Wasn't all blazing hot, wasn't really cold, wasn't raining, so that's good. And for those of y'all who watch these, who might be Bessemer City football team, tomorrow at Trinity Assembly of God, we're having fifth quarter for y'all. You come by, get shot dogs, have fun, talk to some cool people. It's a good place to be, y'all. Really good church, very accepting of everybody, very loving uh, church family I have now. I'm very grateful that our paths have met. I can't say it enough, I'm very grateful that mine and my dude Will's paths met five years ago. He's good people. His whole, him and his family, y'all, they're good people. They've been helping me out as much as they can. I don't ask for it. They just do it. They're good people. We need more people like them here in the world nowadays. Especially nowadays. There's too much evil going on, y'all. I mean, like, I know... I'm not exactly in the best situation right now in this storm that I'm living through in my life. It's all right. It's going to pass. It's all going to pass one day. And then when I come out of it and I'm back on my feet, I'll be able to understand when somebody else is in a hardship like I am right now. I'll be able to be their lot. Help them. It's going to make me feel good. Can't wait. So, and for all y'all who commented on the video where I got teary, you know, I teared up, cried a little bit. Thank y'all so much for your positive comments. I'm very appreciative. I'm very grateful. I love y'all. All my new subscribers, I love y'all too. Thank you so much for showing love and support. And to my OG subscribers, I really love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the love and the support y'all have given me over the years. Y'all all are amazing. And all you newcomers and OG subscribers, please don't forget to tell your friends, family, to come on the channel, check the videos out, you know, Show the love, the support. I'd be very grateful for that. I want y'all to help me to get to, let's see, 100,000 subscribers. Y'all can help me. Y'all are awesome. I mean, y'all been blowing it up. Let's see, let's see how far up it can go within the next week. Let's see how many subscribers we get, y'all. All right, I mean, yeah, I'm doing the van slash homeless life. I mean, that's what I got to do right now. It's going to all be over one of these days. Every day, I'm thankful for God allowing me to wake up for another day. So I'll make another video for y'all. God is good. Always. He's all around us. Jesus is with us. He's always in our hearts. Stay in the word, y'all. Keep following. Never lose faith. No matter what your situation is. Look, I got a bad situation in my life. Living in my truck with just me and my dog on the street. But I still give praise to God every day. God is good. Some of y'all can say, well, how can you have so much faith in God and Jesus when you're homeless? You live in your truck. Not helping you. Well... I'm going to tell y'all, God and Jesus has helped me out more than I can explain. Okay? They have changed my life. Helped me turn it around. Become a lot better person than I used to be. Believe it or not, I'm a much better person than I ever was. Got rid of the devil. Got him out of me. Got Jesus in. 
Hmm. It's a much better feeling. Much better feeling. Hmm. Man, I, I don't know, like... <laughs> but still, I haven't given up. Still looking for a job. I'm praying that God sends me in the right direction, to the right place. That is going to give me a chance. I know he will. I'm putting it all in his hands. All my worries, all my troubles, no matter what. I give it to God. He'll fight that for me. That's what he does, y'all. I guess, yeah, I'm kind of preaching here tonight. Maybe somebody out there needs to hear this. If you do, please listen. And I'm glad that I could help. Play it back. Listen as much as you have to. God tells us to give us surrender, you know, to surrender all of our problems, all of our issues, all of our worries. Surrender them to Him. He will fight those battles for us, Him and His Son, Jesus Christ. That's what they do. That's what they're here for. They will fight that for us, y'all. Just trust them, please. Believe. Get into a church. Get a Bible. Open it. Get into it. And don't, you know, just jump all over. For those of you who have a Bible, what I like to do when my depression's getting to me, I just, um, I hear something tell me to get your Bible. Open it up. So I open it. And wherever I open it up to, no matter what it is, that's where I'm supposed to be. That's what I'm supposed to read. So I read at least one to two chapters, or however much I'm told to read of it, or until my depression feels like it's getting better for me. So trust me, all, all y'all out there suffering from mental illness, I understand where you're coming from. I'm here. Feel free to DM me, you know, private message me on Messenger if you're having some of the issues like bipolar, uh, manic depression, PTSD. I understand, trust me. I suffer from all of it. I'm on medication for it. As I said, I was able to go and get my medicine today by the grace of God. You know, somebody from the church, I ain't gonna say names. I'm not sure how they feel about it, but a good dude in his family gave me the money so I could get the medicine that I needed. They are real good people. I love them so much for that. I will do whatever I can to help them whenever I can, as much as I can. And they know that. They know that. I can't wait to be able to start helping out at the church. I mean, this see, it's already got me smiling, y'all. This is making me feel good just thinking about helping at the church. Like, serious. So, and I guess, honestly, what I'm saying, I just love being there at the church, y'all. It changes me. Like, when I'm snowboarding. If I'm having a bad day, no matter how bad a day I'm having, I can go on a mountain and start snowboarding all day long, and I'll feel better. That snow, snowboard therapy in, you know, get my cross therapy, my God therapy in, church therapy. I go there, I start feeling better. And at least while I'm there, and for a little while afterwards, but just as soon as I get back to my truck and everything like that, it all comes back. Not as bad for a while. But, you know, I know this one's been mostly talking about how good God is and what Him and Jesus Christ have done in my life already. Please, surrender to Him. He will help you. He loves us all. We're all His children. Now, I love y'all. Stay warm, stay full, stay out of trouble, stay in the word of the Christ, please. And don't forget to tell your friends and family to come on, watch the videos, 
hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all the new ones that will be coming out. And hit that subscribe button. It's somewhere down in there. So don't forget. And always know, I love y'all. Y'all family.